Writing high quality code is one of the most important ways to prevent bugs and issues in your product. But finding a way to measure quality is really tough. So what should we do? Let's see if code coverage can help. Hi, I'm Tom from the DevRel team here at Sentry. And today, I want to talk about code coverage. You know that noise you just heard? That crunching snack sound? Yeah, it makes me pretty hungry. So let's start with an analogy between code coverage and my favorite thing, food. Now, imagine for a second that you're a cookbook editor. Now, you have a pretty simple cookbook to work through. It only has about 10 recipes. And so far, you've made three of them. Now, you could publish that cookbook, but who knows if those other seven recipes taste good at all. Right now, your recipe coverage is 30%, since three of those 10 recipes have been tested. And that's kind of like code coverage. But instead of recipes, we're dealing with lines of code. Now, code coverage is a tool to help identify lines of code in your code base that aren't tested. And it usually produces a percentage of the number of lines that are tested divided by the total number of lines in your code base. OK, let's take a look at this piece of code and its test. I have a calculator that has four functions, add, subtract, multiply, and divide. And I have tests for each of these functions too. But wait, we haven't tested the divide by zero case. Let's run a code coverage tool to see what my coverage is going to be. We see that 11 out of 12 lines of code are tested, resulting in 91%. But one line of code is not tested. And as you can imagine, it's the divide by zero case. If we add a test to ensure that the divide by zero works, we'll hit 100% coverage. And now that we know what code coverage looks like, you might be wondering, why do I even care? Going back to the cookbook editor, you have seven recipes that could be delicious or could totally ruin your night. You just don't know. So it's still important that you test them. Now you can't test for everything. Sometimes a reader might just have a really touchy oven or be using bad ingredients but at least you've tried it out once, giving you some confidence in your recipes. The same is true for your code. Your test might not catch everything, but testing it is better than not. If you want to learn a little bit more about code coverage, feel free to check out our ebook, which goes into more details on how code coverage is actually calculated. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button if you found this video helpful.